which is amazing. And hi, my name is Yomi and I'll be showing you how to install HiveOS in a virtual machine. HiveOS is a crypto mining platform that is widely used and it has a lot of great advantages, partly because it runs Linux and it also has a dashboard where you can manage everything. So it really comes in handy. It has integration like Discord integration, Telegram integration. There are a lot of other things that are cool in HiveOS, which I definitely think you should check out. And if you're setting up a crypto miner in your own home, or even if it's large scale I think you should check out HiveOS. My hypervisor of choice is Proxmox and with Proxmox being a type 1 hypervisor based on a Linux kernel feature HiveOS is able to run at near native speeds as you would run on say a bare metal machine and I'll be showing you how to get that set up now on Proxmox. So I have my video notes over here so what you want to do is actually visit hiveOS.farm and here you can go get the ISO for GPU and uh, this does work for CPU as well because I will show that I do have both CPU miner and an NVIDIA miner running over there. So yeah you'd want to get the zip file and it's about a 2 gig download or so. You can also get it by torrents if uh, your internet speeds are not very reliable and here in Proxmox what you want to do is create a VM I'm going to name this a 110 VM and I'll call it HiveOS and I'll call it YT so HiveOS Yomitage or HiveOS YouTube both of them work which is handy for me so right here you'd want to use do not use any media and I'll get to that very soon you want to leave it as Linux and as the 5.x kernel that works fine and you'd want to come here and set it to Q35 Q35 offers better uh, compatibility with passing in your GPU to your virtual machine and you also want to come here and choose OVMF you can use an EFI disk and you can just put that pretty much anywhere but I recommend you put it in your main storage your fastest drive storage. HiveOS doesn't support QMU agent so you won't be able to see like stats like IP address from inside Proxmox of what's going on in HiveOS but HiveOS does have the dashboard which is nice so you can easily go ahead and go check out all those details in the dashboard which we'll check out briefly. So for a disk you don't actually need a disk because the file we just downloaded from uh, HiveOS is an actual disk and it's about 8 gigs when you fully extract it we'll get to that soon so you don't need a disk for this case and you just want to hit next for cpus it depends on what you're doing for my cpu miner for example i pass in five five cpu cores if you're using something like a gpu miner you only need maybe one or two not much more than that but for this case i'll leave it as two you will also need to add some memory about two gigs is enough with a gpu miner with just one gpu in my case two gig pretty much is enough to cover everything with the cpu miner you need to, you need to give it a bit more memory but you might have to go check how much memory you actually need for your CPU miner and uh, this is where you pass in your network card your virtualized network card so this is Virtio and you just hit next and you hit finish please don't click start after creator because there's no drive in there now so it really wouldn't do anything and there we have it that's the new uh, HiveOS YT virtual machine so what you want to do is head over to your terminal because you will need to use your terminal i'm just going to ssh into my proxmox machine because we all need to run a few commands to extract the file that we just downloaded so if i do an lsla you can see that i do have the hiveos.xz uh, compressed file over here so what you want to do is run this command right here and i'll put that in the description as well i'll just copy that and i'll paste it into my terminal oh file exists so i did already extract it so when you do extract it it gives you this .img file over here and it might take a while because it's extracting like a 1 gig file to like an 8 gig file the next thing you want to do is actually import this image file into your virtual machine so your virtual machine that we've just created here you want to then run this command and I'm going to tweak it slightly because I haven't set it up all the way here so it's a sudo qm and I'm using sudo because I'm using an account that doesn't have a that is not root rather so you do sudo qm import disk 110 is the name of a virtual machine we just created source of the file is the dot slash hive os and it's the image file that we just got in oh and i can't do this with a non-root account so i'm just going to go into my root account there we go and i'll do a qm port this 110 and i'll do a hive os the img so that's the img file and i'll choose the uh, local storage or the storage that i'm putting this in and this is typically local lvm if you're running proxmox you might have changed it but you might want to check that so this is my big pool where i have all my vm disks i'm just going to hit enter there and it shows me that it's transferring 
So yeah, it's done transferring now. It's imported as unused disk into the uh, VM config. And it actually does convert this into a raw file because that's what's compatible on LVM. But if you're using, say, not using LVM, it might actually put this as a QCAL2 file in your VM. But I'll just go over to hardware over here. I'll hide this for now. And we can see that there's a new unused disk with the same name that we've just seen. So when, what you want to do is hit edit. So like I mentioned before, HiveOS wasn't built with virtual IO support so you might have to actually use a slower implementation that would be SATA in this case IDE works fine but I choose SATA in this case SSD emulation is pretty good if you don't want to have uh, too many writes from your SSD it preserves it a little bit just want to hit add and uh, we're pretty much good to go so you might have this as default in this case this is just to use the console to view your new virtual machine but if you had a gpu what you'd want to do is hit add and go to add pcie or pci device over here and here you just want to go find your gpu there you go that's my gpu right there 3060 ti you want to hit all functions uh primary gpu and also pci express and that's how you go ahead and add it so by clicking uh, all functions it's actually going to add the uh, second instance of nvidia device pcie device right here and you don't have to explicitly add it as you would in say libvirt so there we go that's the gpu there i won't be able to run this right now because i currently have it attached and i won't be able to show you the preview because it will be uh, outputted on my display as opposed to in proxmox i'm just going to go ahead and remove this but i'll show you the rest of the process now if i may interject as you can probably tell the day has moved on it's quite dark outside now i made a few mistakes and i uh, just want to clarify them now a few things that Hive OS didn't like with the former setup so what you want to do is change the BIOS from OVMF to CBIOS for some reason the new versions of Hive OS don't support OVMF anymore which is like UEFI and my former VMs are running fine with it so I found that a bit strange hard drive stays the same as SATA 0 you so I'm just going to go ahead and hit start on the VM if you are using a CPU miner you might want to put the host flag over there because you get access to AS instruction sets and AVX as well so you want to go in here edit and choose host and host is at the very bottom you can also use mac but uh, for the most part host will work fine so you want to go back into the console and there we have it hive os hive os in its full glory so the, you just run the first few setup yeah so it, it is connecting to the hive os farm and here you'd want to go get your rig ID from your HiveOS account and you put that into here you'd also put in your password and you will then see your HiveOS rig running on HiveOS as you can see I have two of them running right now these are my two rigs this is the Nvidia one so it's actually patching the display through to my G through my GPU to the display and this is my CPU miner which you can see right here in its full glory as well I assigned five cores to this one and it's pretty fun mining is pretty fun and with a virtual machine you can use your computer for other things as well so if you were using a bare metal machine for mining you'd be stuck using that for mining completely with a virtual machine like I have here I have many other things running I have my Kubernetes nodes running I have a bunch of docker and LXC containers running running as a server actually so I have my PC right here and it runs as a server for me and with this I'm able to mine and do a whole bunch of other stuff at the same time isn't that amazing and with the type 1 hypervisor you're getting pretty much bare metal performance as well your hive os dashboard i'm not sure if you guys have seen it but i'll go ahead and show you what mine looks like hive os is pretty generous as well with what they allow you to get with their dashboard so there we go that's my hive os dashboard that's my gpu miner over here i recently switched from uh, the hive one pool to the ether mine pool and so far it's been great i get uh, payouts in matic and they're more frequent than uh, the hive one pool i'll just show you my cpu miner as well that's what my cpu miner looks like and i do use the same pc to play games on windows so that's why you see gaps over here so that's when i turn off the uh, vm to play some games on windows and i turn it back on to continue mine which is pretty nice uh this was the rig i was going to show you how to set up so this is what you copy the rig id over here you also copy the password and with the uh, proxmox you can actually just type it in here which is very convenient so you can put in your rig id right there and you can start mining so everything else you would configure on the actual hive os dashboard which is very convenient and like as i mentioned before you get like notifications so if a hive is down you get a notification on discord or telegram whatever you prefer which is amazing and that's been it for me it's been a long few hours trying to figure out why this thing wasn't working because it's working for my other vms but i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you in the next one peace